Hey guys, I got a new video for you today, and we're going to be looking at a impromptu EDC pocket dump. Uh, basically, I just got home from running errands, and I decided to throw everything that I was carrying on my person and in my pockets right here on the table and show you guys. Uh, it's really hot down here in South Florida, so I was just wearing a t-shirt and cargo shorts, so um, it helps me to distribute all this gear in all the different pockets. Now, one thing you will notice is there is multiples of certain, several things, and I always get this question as to why I carry more than one item of a specific item, and that's because I review this gear. So um, I always try and carry you know, one that I normally would like to carry and then another one that I'm reviewing and then rotate them in and out and stuff like that. So that's why you will see multiples of several things. So let me go ahead and get started. On my wrist, I just have my Apple Watch. This is the 42 millimeter variant, and this has the carbon fiber cover from Bastion um, mag plates on it. Ever since I put it on there, I haven't taken it off. I love the way that it looks, and it gives a little bit of protection to the case of the watch itself. As far as the band, this is a knockoff of the Apple Milanese Loop. Uh, the Apple Milanese Loop runs $150 at the Apple Store. These run about $17 on Amazon, and they work and look and feel exactly the same. So I decided to go with one of those. On my other wrist, I always wear a paracord bracelet. Today is Friday, so on Fridays, I normally wear red. Um, red stands for Remember Everyone Deployed. So um, if you guys know about that, um, that's why you would... you probably see me wearing red most Fridays. So I wear a paracord bracelet to kind of match the red shirt that I was wearing today. And then you will see some red uh, sprinkled throughout my EDC also. All right, so onto my keys. This is my key fob here for my vehicle. And then I have a couple little items on here. I have a, a small little uh, lead lenser um, flashlight here. I also have this uh, little pen that you pull out and it turns into a full size pen. And then once you're done with it, you can just push it back in and it contracts right into this smaller size. I always carry um, a Swiss Army Knife Classic with me. Uh, the tweezers I use a lot, the scissors I use a lot also, so I always try and carry one of those with me. And then last but not least, I have this little in-charge charger. If you guys follow me on Instagram, you might have seen a picture that I posted today where I was using this charger to charge my uh, iPod Touch, which is actually what I'm using now to record this video. I was using my Nomad power plant to charge it and it came in handy really nice while I was having lunch at Chick-fil-A So that uh, was that and then I also carry this spare s beaner on here This is a night eyes s beaner lockable one and this I use to clip my keys onto the little d-ring in front of my pants And then I kind of put these in the keys and everything in my pocket and it you know serves a really nice purpose So there it is. That is my keychain I always carry a lighter with me and I kind of favor these disposable ones. This is a Scripto lighter. Uh, I know I get questions as to why don't I carry a Zippo or anything like that. And it's basically because I don't use it as often. Um, I might use it here and there to do paracord projects and things like that. Um, but you know, the Zippo lighters, the liquid kind of tends to evaporate after a while. So you're always gonna keep them topped off. So with these, you can see what it is. And if something were to happen to this, if I lose it or anything like that, I don't have to worry about it. So that's why I kind of opt for these. Um, I always carry this little kind of um, first aid, feel good EDC kit. And basically it just has some um, stomach and headache medication, some band-aids, some alcohol prep pads in this really thin little um, heavy gauge plastic bag. And I get questions as to where this came from. Basically this um, had a lanyard on it and I got it at some convention that I went to um, just to put your IDs or business cards or something in there. So obviously I took the lanyard off and I repurposed it for my kit here. Uh, again, it is heavy gauge, so it holds up to a lot of wear and tear. Uh, I always carry this me with me, especially like in my back pocket or something like that. So I always have that. My EDC pen is this one right here. This is just a pen that I got from work. Basically, it has a stylus tip on one end, and it has a little LED bulb on the other. You push in, and you get a little light. And then to use the pen, you just pull it apart, and you can start using it. Again, if you guys are interested in something like this, you can do a um, an uh, Amazon search for LED stylus um, pen, and you know some of these will come up. So you can find those that way. Uh, let's see, my sunglasses, the ones that I was wearing today are my Monster Dogs, and these have the red icons and the ruby lenses, and obviously this is to match for um, Red Friday. I really enjoy wearing these, and then I just have the micro bag to clean them or uh, to store them if I'm not wearing them on my head or on my face or something like that. Let's see, um, my phone. I don't normally show my phone because I'm usually using it to record these videos, but this is my iPhone 6 Plus, and it has this leather... Um, 
cover on it and this is cool because it has a metal plate inside of it so i have a magnet on my dashboard that i can just push this on and you know the case already has the metal part on it and that's where i have it when i'm driving on my car so it's out of the way and really easy to use if i'm using the maps or something like that so that's my phone iphone 6 plus set that to the side there let's see my wallet this is uh obviously my recently reviewed hellbent holster um this is a really awesome wallet. I know I had a lot of people asking me to review this wallet, and I started carrying it and using it. I got it directly from Hellbent Holsters, and it's really awesome. This one has the um, American flag titanium uh, money clip on it. And as you guys can see, I have some money there, some business cards, and then all my different cards and IDs and stuff like that. So this is the medium-sized one. So you guys are interested in a review on this, um, check back uh, a couple of videos back. I did a review on this wallet. Uh, down to the last couple of things. The first one is I started carrying this right here just to kind of see how it works. This is a uh, Wenger Swiss Army knife style um, knife, obviously multi-tool. This is not Swiss Army knife. This is Wenger. But I kind of like this one because it has a big blade and a small blade, but also has a pair of scissors and it has a pair of pliers on there. So I find that I do carry a Leatherman in my EDC bag. So... Um, you know, I didn't want to carry, you know, like a big Leatherman and a little Leatherman, stuff like that. So I decided to test how this works. And I like this one because it doesn't have the corkscrew. I really don't have a use for that. Instead, you do have a Phillips screwdriver back here, which comes in handy a lot more than the corkscrew does. So I don't even know what model this particular one is, but I had it in a drawer and I found it. And I decided to kind of throw it into my EDC and start carrying it. Um, let's see. We'll go with the lights. The first one is this one right here. This is the uh, Lumen Top Worm. I did a review recently on this model, and I decided that this was going to be my Friday light, obviously because it's red and it matches the whole Red Friday thing. So this was my uh, primary light today that I was carrying. Really awesome little uh, little flashlight. It's got a cool pocket clip on it, and I just kind of clip it onto my pocket, and it has that rubber ring that I can. Uh, actuate the light with one hand so that was my EDC flashlight and then this is the previously reviewed Prion 2 um, brass edition and this one um, uh, the reason why I'm carrying this one as well is because I'm starting to see a really nice patina forming on it so I want to carry it as much as possible and handle it and stuff like that so that's why you see me carrying two flashlights um, I'm not really testing it I'm just kind of you know seeing what you know, it can do as far as um, patinaing the, the copper on it. So it looks really cool. So that's the other flashlight. As far as my knives go, this is obviously because it's red, it's my primary knife. And this is the Browse Blade Spartan. This has the black blade on it. I just have a little lanyard on here because it does have a really deep right pocket clip. So this kind of helps me pull it out sometimes. So obviously red for Red Friday. So this is the combination that goes the flashlight and the knife, which I will be carrying on most Fridays. And then this one right here is the Steel Will Gecko. Uh, this is actually the smaller version. I received this not too long ago from Steel Will. I'm testing it out and I will be doing a review on this. So if you guys are interested, you know, stay tuned for that. I'm not going to say too much about it. So I'll set that to the side. Last but not least is my firearm. Uh, obviously, I carry a spare mag for my uh, SIG P938. This is chambered in 9mm. So this is the spare mag. And then uh, today I was carrying it in this um, outside the waistband holster. This is by... Uh, bullseye holsters, um, great, great holster molded specifically for the firearm. So, let's go ahead and clear it. So, there it is. This is the SIG 938 with the Ho grips. Um, and then this has the fiber optic night sights, front sights, and then the night sights in the back. Uh, I really like this little this little gun. Again, it's kind of like a uh, 19, 1911 form factor um, in just the way that it operates, but it's obviously nice and small. It is a little heavier than my, let's say, my Glock 42, but again, it is chambered in uh, 9mm, and I do carry it with this, um, the pinky extension magazine, and then the flat, ba flat base magazine is the one that I carry as far as the spare one, and I carry it, again, in this holster outside the waistband has a nice really positive retention as you guys can see there it's not going anywhere but it allows me to get full purchase on the firearm if i need to go ahead and draw it and it rides nice and high so it's easier to conceal so that is my concealed carry firearm 
for today. So there it is. That is my EDC. Uh, again, it's an impromptu pocket dump. I decided to just uh, throw everything that I was carrying today on the table and go ahead and show you guys. So let me know if you guys have any questions. Thanks.